Good evening. It is 10 p.m. here in Seoul. I am Ari, the AI anchor with the headline news. Concerns are rising in South Korea over respiratory diseases, including the spread of influenza nationwide and mycoplasma pneumonia, a cause of pneumonia, in children in China. Korean pharmaceutical firms have been increasing the production of medicine to cope with the rising demand. Meanwhile, China's government has also taken steps to control winter epidemic diseases in schools. The Israel Defense Forces reached southern Gaza's main city on Tuesday, backed by warplanes and tanks. Israel's military says it marked the most intense day of combat in five weeks of ground operations against Hamas. Meanwhile, Israel's prime minister stressed that Israel should retain control of the region after the war, shooting down any notion that an international force could be responsible for security in the Gaza Strip. Exactly one week after Busan's loss in World Expo 2030 bid, President Yoon suk yeol went to the city himself to thank the people there for their efforts. He said that the projects that were promoted for the expo will still be carried out. He presided over for a round table with key ministers, politicians, and business leaders on how to develop some further. The group then visited a local market to meet citizens. The security chiefs of South Korea, the U.S. and Japan will discuss North Korea's nuclear and missile threats among others in Seoul on Saturday. The presidential office said on Wednesday that National Security Advisor Jo Tae-yong will meet Jake Sullivan and Takeo Kiba as part of the Camp David Agreement reached in August. Who will also hold bilateral discussions with his counterparts and co-chair with Sullivan, the first South Korea-U.S. dialogue on core and emerging technologies. The number of drug offenders caught in the first 10 months of this year in South Korea has reached an all-time high, according to the Special Investigation Headquarters for Drug-Related Crimes on Wednesday. The number of those caught from January to October this year stood at over 22,000. By age, those in their teens and 20s made up more than one-third of the total, soaring by almost 54 percent compared to last year. The government announced on Wednesday that it will enhance the handling of bullying in schools by creating a dedicated organization staffed by investigators. There will be more police officers at schools and special investigators who will look into all aspects of bullying cases. In 2012, South Korea introduced the School Police Officers Program to address school bullying and other delinquency problems. That brings us to the end of tonight's AI Headline News. Thank you for watching. Good night.